Here we are, see him again. Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, look. Will. Yeah. We're best mates, aren't we? Of course we are. Okay, so look, I'm going to ask you something now. Been meaning to ask you this for years, 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 years. Gee, am I, am I going to like it? No, no, it's nothing. It's, it's all right. It's, um, well, you're rich, aren't you? I do all right. You're rich. You're properly rich. So the thing is, well, well the question is, what do you do? <laughs> you know what I do, Rob. I'm an investment manager. Yeah, but what is that? I mean, what do you actually do? You know, I, I trade in securities, commodities and futures with other brokers around the world. Yeah, but how does that make money? You know, because, I mean, it boils down, right, it boils down to swapsies, doesn't it? You know, <laughs> right? If you and a guy in Tokyo do a swap of whatever it is, I don't know, currencies or, or, or commodities or whichever, one of you must be doing better out of it and one of you's doing worse. Sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah so, one of you should get poorer. But all stockbrokers are rich. <laughs> you know, even though some must be doing worse swaps, they're all rich. And I don't know how that can be possible. I mean, you know, it's like, it's like making money out of nothing. What, like alchemy? Yeah. What? You know, turning base metal into gold. Yeah, but seriously, though, I mean... Right, it used to be taken very seriously indeed. Alchemist was a respected profession. They had laboratories, guilds. Isaac Newton wrote more about alchemy than he did about physics. Yeah, well, why are you going on about alchemy? I don't know. You're talking about making money from nothing, I suppose. It, it just reminded me of something I always wondered about alchemy. If someone actually did it, you know, found a way of turning tin into gold, what would he do with his discovery? Make himself loads of gold? Ah, but then he's just weakening the supply, isn't he? Gold's only valuable because it's rare. If you turn tin into gold, you're not going to make tin as valuable as gold, you're going to make gold as cheap as tin. Yeah, I suppose, but he could, he could patent it, couldn't he? He could sell the invention. Yeah, maybe, but there were so many alchemists in those days. If someone actually did it, it wouldn't take long for the rest of them to work out how, and... Then you're in the same situation. The market's flooded with gold. The invention's worthless. So what would you do? Me? I don't know. The only thing I can think of is um, gather all the Guild of Alchemists together, secretly, tell them I've cracked it, and agree to share the secret if they swear only to make a small amount of gold each year. You know, enough to make them rich, but not enough to devalue gold. <laughs> yeah, but if... All the alchemists suddenly got rich, people would guess, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other condition would have to be that they would all have to give up alchemy, you know, let it die away, and instead found some other profession. <laughs> something associated with the supply of gold into the market. Something that everyone would learn just to take it for granted, made people rich somehow, but was way too complex for anyone who wasn't a qualified member of the guild to understand. <laughs> And that way you could keep the system going, well, for generations, handing the secret down. What sort of profession? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'll tell you a funny thing, though. Between 1780 and 1800, alchemy suddenly almost entirely died out. And the London Stock Exchange was founded in 1801. <laughs> so what? Nothing. Just rambling on. Want another drink? Yeah. Oh, but it's my round. No, no, I'll get it. I made a bit of money today. <laughs>